Hi guys, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we'll be looking at rate. The first thing we need to know is what is rate? A rate is a ratio in which the units of the two quantities being compared are different. So rates are ratios. But the only difference between rates and ratio, as we have learned in the previous lesson, is for the case of rates, the quantities of the unit that are being compared are different. When we are looking at ratio, we compare boys to girls, we compare oranges to apples to mangoes, and so on. But in this situation, we are comparing quantities with different units. Let's look at some examples. Examples, we have liters per mile. So liters talks about liquid, volume, and miles talk about distance. So we are comparing volume to distance. Here, kilometers per hour. Kilometer distance, hour time. So here we are comparing distance to time. In this other example, rotation per minute, we are comparing revolution or how many times an object turns per minute. So you can see that we are comparing objects that have different units. So the basic difference between ratio and rate is for ratio, we compare values that are similar. For rate, we are comparing two values that are different. Okay, so next we'll be looking at unit rate. Let's look at it. So let's look at unit rate. What is a unit rate? A unit rate is a rate expressed so that the denominator of the corresponding ratio is 1. Remember I told you that rate compares quantities with different units. So when you have quantities with different units, as we have seen, we have one quantity per the other quantity. Now, per means divided by. If I say 10x per child, it means 10x for one child. If I say 20x per 10 children, it means 20x for 10 children, right? So when you see per, it means divided by. So this means the first quantity is the numerator and the second quantity is the denominator. So if you have 5 miles per hour, we can simply write it as 5 miles all over 1 hour. Okay? Unit rate means that the denominator is 1. So if I say 5 miles per hour, it means that the vehicle covers 5 miles in 1 hour. Right? The same thing happens here, 4 miles per liter. It means that 4 miles can be covered using one liter okay so this expression is called unit rate so we're going to look at examples of how to calculate unit rate most times when you are told to calculate questions on rates you are simply asked to calculate unit rate okay let's look at some examples let's see the question together the question says a man runs a distance of 400 meters in 50 seconds we are expected to calculate the unit rate in meter per second. So this is a very simple question. Let's look at how to solve this. Solution. So the man covered 40 meters in 50 seconds. Okay, 40 meters in 50 seconds. So we can say this is 40 meters per 50 seconds because per means division. It's equal to how many meters is it going to cover in one second? Remember, it's, the unit rate is in meters per second. So the unit rate has to be a denominator of one. So that means we are looking for how many meters is going to cover in one second. We don't know what it is, so we'll call it x in one second. Okay. So next, we cross multiply. x is going to multiply 50 to give us 50x. It's equal to 400 is going to multiply 1 to give us 400. So to get the value of x, we divide both sides by 50. Fifty is going to cancel out 50. We have x is equal to 400 divided by 50 is 8. So the value of the distance is 8. This means that the unit rate is 8 meters per second. That's the unit rate. Okay, 8 meters per second. That means the man is going to cover 8 meters in one second. So this is quite easy. Let's look at another example. All 
Okay, so let's look at this example. We're told that Odawe sent $300 to his brother in Nigeria. After exchanging the money to Naira, his brother got 450,000 Naira. We expected to calculate the exchange rate in Naira per dollar. So here we are looking at the unit rate. How many Naira equal $1, okay? So we are still going to go through the process as we did in the first example. So the first thing we need to do is take note of the fact that $300 was equivalent to 450 Naira, right? But also take note of the unit rate, Naira per dollar. That means Naira comes first and dollar comes next. Okay, so we are going to have 450,000 Naira all over $300 is equal to a dollar means one dollar so dollar which is the denominator is going to be one do we know the equivalent naira value we don't know so let's call it n okay the next thing we're going to do is cross multiply so n is going to multiply 300 we have three we have 300 n is equal to 450,000 multiplied by one is going to give us 450,000 okay going further we divide both sides by 300 300, 300, 20 zero cancel out two zero. So 4,500 divided by three, n is equal to 1,500. This means the exchange rate, which is the unit rate, is 1,500 Naira per $1. Okay, so that is the exchange rate. So this means at the time this money was sent, the equivalent of $1 in Naira is 1,500 Naira. Very easy. So I'm going to leave one question for you to practice as an assignment. Leave your answer in the comment section. If you're in the WhatsApp group, take note of the question, add it to the ones you've done for ratio, and then at the end of the week, you can send it to me as a picture. Okay? So the reason I'm giving you this question is just to motivate you to practice. But for you to understand the topic very well, you need to look for more questions to solve. And if you're in the WhatsApp group, if you come across any question on ratio or rate that you cannot solve on your own, you can just let me know about it and then we look at how to solve it together. Okay? So thank you for watching up to this point. See you in the next video, which is about proportion. Bye.